Hello there, this is Agnesa from No Sediment. Today, let's talk about pairing wines with five different foods from Star Wars Universe. Welcome to this May the 4th Star Wars special from our channel. Star Wars movies are filled with exciting small details, and alien culinary is definitely one of them. Although the food we see there might seem very exotic, it is actually inspired by our Earth food. Therefore, I don't see any reason why we cannot find a matching wine to accompany these dishes. So let's talk about five foods from galaxy far, far away and which wines to enjoy them with. And please note, I have never tasted any of these dishes, so consider it a little fun tribute to the Star Wars and its fans. One thing for sure, porgs are wild bird-like cute creatures. Wikipedia knows that they are actually carnivores and dive underwater to catch small fish and they also feed on crustaceans. They must have some underskin body fat to keep them warm during those dives. However, provided their active lifestyle, their meat should be quite lean and reddish in color. Grilling pork on open fire as Chewy does it would aid into caramelization of their fats and it also might show some burnt flavors. Therefore, I would not go for wine with aggressive tannins and high alcohol, but rather look for one that provides red fresh fruit flavors and lively acidity. I would also prefer wine with less new oak influence. Tannins together with oaky flavors might accentuate the caramelization and smoky tones in the dish and could lead to a bitter aftertaste. Fresh fruit will lift the meaty flavors and elevated acidity should refresh the fattiness. My go-to wine would be Pomard Village Level Pinot Noir from Burgundy, in this case Anne Parent 2014. You will like this video and you will subscribe to my channel. We don't really see what Yoda is cooking there, for all we know, and judging by Luke's reaction, it might be something nasty. But if we do think logically, Dagobah is a swampy and green planet with plenty of water resources. That means that Yoda had access to plenty of fruits, barks and greens, making this stew quite flavorsome and maybe even spicy. <laughs> I'm not sure about large animals, but given the fact that Yoda's hut is surrounded by swamp, I would guess that as a protein, Yoda used small sluggish-like animals that are easy to catch. Yum. <laughs> yes, yes, but now you must eat. Come, <laughs> good food, come. <laughs> Good thing it seems it has been cooking on that low fire for a while, allowing all the flavors to marry. I would go for fruit-driven red wine with enough flavor not to be overpowered by that reduced and intense stew, but not too high in alcohol. If Yoda stew is in fact spicy, high alcohol might accentuate that burning flavor, overpowering both wine and stew itself. One of the most underrated wines that would accompany this food perfectly is Beaujolais Cru Fleury from producer Lafarge Vial. Mm, very tempting your suggestion is, but consume alcohol carefully, a Jedi must. Mm. No matter how hard Mando tried, few of those precious frog ladies' eggs did slip into child's mouth. No, 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 no. I'm not sure what was that liquid the eggs were kept in, but I'm sure it was not there for flavoring. Therefore, I'm guessing these frogs' eggs are gelatinous in texture and quite oily as all row is. And I know it was not a place or time for celebration, but judging by Grogu's determination to get these eggs, I would be guessing they are delicacy. And fancy food requires fancy wine, so I choose champagne. 
More importantly, Champagne does have elevated acidity, allowing to cut through that oily texture of frog's caviar, leaving refreshed palate. Furthermore, bubbles would deal nicely with that gelatin-like texture. I would go for a champagne that offers structure and body rather than refreshment, therefore Bollinger Special Cuvée is my choice. This is actually normal. We, and by we, I mean French, eat frogs. But in our case, it is cooked frog legs, often seasoned and coated in flour and sauteed in butter. This poor fella, however, is devoured fresh with no seasoning whatsoever. And that means we must look for a wine that will not overpower those delicate fresh flavors. After all, frogs, at least on Earth, are freshwater animals and they have mild flavors. I would look for fresh, slightly aromatic, unoaked white wine such as lighter style Austrian Gruner Wattliner. My choice would be Weinhofmeisterei Matthias Hirzberger Gruner Wattliner Federspiel from 2019 vintage. I do think Gruner Wattliner is quite versatile as a grape, so I'm kind of playing safe here. But I also know it will not overpower the delicate flavors of the dish, yet will have enough structure and body to deal with the raw texture of the frog's meat. And finally, fancy octopus tentacle ball on Boba Fett's feast table. Why I say fancy? Well, for one thing, this water-loving animal cannot be found easily on sand-covered planet, which is Tatooine. And this one is actually nicely plated with some seasoning on top. So if any of the foods in the Star Wars universe screams wine, it is this beautifully plated bowl of octopus tentacles. Fennec Shand even has a sip of what seems a glass of wine. We don't want to have anything expressive or full-bodied because octopus does not seem grilled or cooked in any way for that matter. So I would go for a wine that has pleasant aromatics to not be overpowered by the space spices used here, yet has enough acidity to refresh the palate and lift up the dish. You're the head of a family. You should enjoy the trappings. Provence Rosé seems like requirement here, and there is no better choice than from the father himself. Chateau Margui from George Lucas owned Skywalker Vineyard's portfolio. So here you go, five dishes from the Star Wars universe and five great wines to accompany them. Cheers to you guys and may the force be with you. If, in addition to wine, you also like horror movies, be sure to check my other video on sommelier horror stories with a special guest.